Dear students, I hope you are all well. I am Mithun Hussain, assistant teacher of English for Kurunkul Ideal Institute. Our today's topic is tag question. In SSC examination, there is a question of five marks for tag question. So, tag question is very very important for the class nine and ten. Actually, tag question is a short question added after a sentence. Tag question means short question added after a sentence. Tag question is used to get the confirmation from the listener. Today, I will give you some easy instruction to make a question tag. For example, he is he is a teacher. He is a teacher. Isn't he? Here. He is a teacher. Stand into a question by the tag. Isn't he? Here the words isn't he are a question tag. Okay. Now I will I will discuss about basic structure of tag question. There are two main structure of tag question. Look here. Number one, auxiliary verb plus not plus pronoun of subject. If the sentence is affirmative, we use number one structure. And number two, auxiliary verb plus pronoun of subject. If the sentence is affirmative, if the sentence is affirmative, we use this structure. For example, Shubha is from Zinaida, isn't he? Here, this statement is an affirmative sentence, so we use a negative tag. At first, we use auxiliary verb is and. Negative form of is is isn't. If the statement is positive, we use negative negative tag. And number two, he is not a good good boy. This sentence is a negative sentence, so we use a affirmative tag. So so is he three? Then students, now we have to know some special negative form of some auxiliary verbs. Look here. Am the negative form of am aren't shall shan't will won't may may. For example, I am high. We know that the negative form of am is am not, but in that question we use are not. Here I am high. This sentence is affirmative, so you we use a negative tag. So the negative form of am is aren't, and the sub pronoun of subject I. So we use I. Dear students, there are some basic rules for tag question. Number one, if there is no auxiliary or modal verb in the main clause, we use the auxiliary do, does, and be according to tense. If if there is no auxiliary verb in the main clause, we use Auxiliary do does and did according to tense. If the statement is present tense, we use do or does, and the statement is uh, past tense, we use did. For example, he plays hockey. So, if the sentence is a, is present tense and there is no auxiliary verb, so we use do or does as the subject of the sentence he. So we use uh, pronoun he and we use auxiliary does. Uh, this sentence is affirmative, so we use negative tag. That doesn't he? Another, another rules. When the sentence contains a word with negative meaning, like never, hardly, seldom, or rarely, there are students. When the when the statement contains a negative a negative meaning, like hardly, seldom, rarely, etc., etc., on that time we use affirmative tag. For example, it has hardly. It has hardly rain. It has hardly rain in winter. We know that if any sentence have has hardly we use the affirmative tag. So has 
Dear students, if the if the sentence contains a word with negative meaning like hardly, rarely, seldom, etc., etc., on that time we use affirmative verb. So in this sentence there is hardly, so we use affirmative verb. Has it? Number three, if it is imperative sentence, there are two, there are there are only two cursing type for imperative sentence. For example. And on you. If the sentence is imperative, we use uh, two cursing tag. They are will you and won't you. For example, do the work. Do the do the work. It is an example of imperative sentence. So we use just will you. And then, another structure of imperative, imperative sentence, when imperative sentence uh, begins with let plus any personal object, we use will you. And let plus us, we use shall we. For example, when imperative sentence begins with let plus any personal object, we use will you. But, but let plus ask, we use or the shall we. For example, let me do the work. Look here. Let, let, me, me. So we, we use will you. So we just use will you. And then, let us go out for a work. Let, let, us, us. So we use just shall we. Shall we. There is today. This is all about the basic facts of tech coursing. In the next class, I will discuss about another interesting topics. But no more today. Have a, have a nice time. Goodbye.